Hello and welcome to Hosted FTP Tutorials. Today's tutorial is going to be covering WinSCP for first time users. We're going to show you how to download, install, and set up WinSCP in addition to understanding the interface. Let's get started. Go to the official WinSCP website at www.winscp.net. Click the download tab and select the latest installation package. This will redirect you to a prompt message and after delay, a new window will open where you can choose the download destination of the setup. Click save and let the download complete. Once the download completes, double click the application from your download destination or web browser to begin the setup. Click I agree to the terms and conditions and continue all the way through the setup. When the installation completes, click finish and WinSCP should automatically open. The first thing you'll notice when WinSCP opens is the site manager window. Click here to skip to part two to learn how to connect to your server. Once you've connected, you'll see two big panels. The left panel represents your local directory, AKA your computer, and the right panel shows your remote directory, AKA your server. At the top, you'll see your toolbar and settings and your transfer queue located at the bottom of the WinSCP interface. Let's briefly mention some of the most commonly used tools and features. The new session button will open the site manager, enabling you to connect to a server or change the settings of any saved connections. You can find your directory management tools right above the browser. Upload or download, edit, delete, rename, view properties, or create folders and shortcuts as you see fit. You can also right click on a file or inside of a directory to view your actions as well. WinSCP also allows you to customize your interface to your preferences. You can expand your directories for easier folder navigation by clicking the folder tree icon. Or if you prefer, you can keep the expanded browser minimized and browse your directories using the shortcuts just between the session button and your management tools. The transfer queue is where you'll find your current or pending status of any uploads or downloads. Use the tools above the transfer queue to pause, cancel, or change the priority of your transfers. You can resize the transfer queue as you see fit or right click to hide it entirely. Click here to skip to part two where we'll be covering how to connect, upload, and download to and from your server. If this video was helpful, give us a like to let us know what kind of content we should continue to make and let us know what FTP client you want us to cover next. Check out www.hostedftp.com for all your FTP needs or email us at support at hostedftp.com for your business inquiries. Thank you so much for watching and on behalf of everyone here at Hosted FTP, we want to thank you for choosing us as your service provider.